Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you some differences between American and British English grammar. This is a fun topic so I'll probably make a series of videos about the differences between these two dialects. Before we start, remember to sign up for our $1 listening practice seminars at polyglossa.com and download our free listening time podcast so you can practice your listening skills. Okay, so the first grammatical difference I want to point out is with prepositions of time, specifically when talking about the weekend. In British English, it's common to say at the weekend, but in American English, this sounds wrong. We would say on the weekend. Sometimes students of mine say at the weekend, and my first reaction is to correct them, but then I remember that in British English, this is correct, so I can't really correct them. Okay, the next difference I want to point out is with articles. In both dialects of English, there are places that we can refer to without an article. For example, I went to school or I'm at church. However, there's one big difference when it comes to the word hospital. Recently, I learned that in British English, it's normal to say he went to hospital without the article. When I first saw this sentence online, I thought it was a mistake. In American English, we always need to use an article with the word hospital. We would say, he went to the hospital. For us, hearing the word hospital without an article sounds bizarre. But I'm sure British English speakers think the same when they hear us use the article every time. The next difference I want to talk about is with past participles. Past participles are the third form of verbs. For example, go, went, gone. Gone is the past participle of the verb to go. Almost all past participles are identical in British and American English, but there is one that's different. In British English, the past participle of the verb to get is got. For example, they could say, many people have got fired. This actually doesn't sound that bad to Americans, but it doesn't sound quite right. That's because for us, the past participle of to get is gotten. We would say, many people have gotten fired. For British English speakers, this probably sounds horrible, but for us, it's natural. This next grammatical difference has to do with formality. In British English, it's normal to use formal grammatical structures such as shall, must, and needn't. These words all sound really formal to Americans. We would prefer to use their informal equivalents. Instead of shall, we would say should or will. Instead of must, we would say have to or need to. And instead of needn't, we would say don't or doesn't need to. In general, American English is sometimes considered to be a little more informal than British English. The last difference I want to mention is with the use of the present perfect. In British English, the present perfect is often used when an action just recently happened. For example, if someone just recently lost their phone, they might say, I've lost my phone. However, in American English, we prefer to use the past simple in these types of situations. We would say, I lost my phone. In American English, we practically always use the past simple when we're telling a story like this, regardless of how recently it happened. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Remember to sign up for our $1 listening practice seminars at polyglossa.com and download our free listening time podcast so you can practice your listening skills. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and follow us on Instagram. I'll see you next time.